A lot of people keep their thoughts in here. They don't let them out. They're afraid. They don't want to know what the world thinks of their thoughts. I understand it. But if you're not a little hamster boy bitch afraid of the world, you're going to need a microphone to get your thoughts out. How you doing? The ultimate battle is about to commence, my friend. We got the Rode Video Micro right on top there. It's a little windy out, so we got some wind tests coming up. We're going to pit it. Oh, I could have prepared that better. Against the ceremonic that could. The little loser thing, it bends at a 90 degree angle. Like my pee. So we're going to fu- oh, oh god. Oh god. Perfectly exposed. Which one's better, this or the micro? Let's find out. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So basically, the Rode Video Micro is the best mic you can get for the money. It sounds phenomenal. It's got the little wind muff thing. It's pretty good against the wind. The only thing I hate about my little Sony X3000 is that little wind jammer that I try to put on the front. It doesn't do much. It doesn't, if it's windy, I know I'm going to get some disturbance and turbulence, the likes of which you've never seen. Look how artistic this is. Ow. The leaf step. Is this art? I step. Ow. It's not worth it. So while this microphone is basically perfect, it has one major flaw, and that is from behind. Technically, it's good. If you're just doing this, it rejects everything else from behind. But if you want to do something like this, the children's playground empty on a Saturday afternoon. Can't believe it. Can't believe this right now. What happened? Was there a radioactive disaster? I believe there was. Still, tough it out children. Come play. So basically it's the perfect camera from in front, but you switch it around a notch and it's Muffletown. It's Muffletown, Detroit City. So that's why I got this little ceremonic. We'll see. We'll compare front to front and then back to back and wind comparisons. Wow. Oh, it's windy now. Can you hear it? It's pretty good. Or is it? Are my volume meters peaking? Okay. We're on the ceremonic. It completely blocks the flippy screen. That's a fun little side feature. Huh? I can't see anything. Oh, this is a nightmare. Oh, this was a bad purchase. I could not afford to lose that $45. Oh god. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Super windy right now. Is it stopping it? I can't see my volume meters because it's blocking the flippy screen. So, who knows what's happening right now. But how does it sound compared to the Rode Micro? We'll see, we'll compare front to front and then back to back and wind comparisons. Wow. Is it better? In my studies, I've reviewed these things, or looked at reviews of them. It seems like the Ceremonic has a higher noise floor, which is not what you want. You hear more of that background hiss. It's a little clearer, less bass. That can be a good thing. You can switch it up in EQ a notch, you know what I mean? So, we'll try that. But the real test comes when you look around the backside. The children's playground, still abandoned from the Chernobyl-like disaster that hit us last week on a Saturday afternoon. Can't believe it. Can't believe this right now. What happened? Was there a radioactive disaster? Children are afraid. They're not born like they used to. Now we got the ceremonic, but we pointed it back towards me. Very easy to do. You just flip it around. On a Saturday afternoon. Can't believe it. Can't believe this right now. What happened? Does that sound much better? I can't imagine it doesn't. The problem is when you do flip it, there will be some noise. Let's try that. Oh, oh. Okay, that was it. It wasn't too bad. We didn't clip nothing. Relax. So let me know which mic you think sounds better. The thing is now, the flippy screen to the side doesn't work with the Ceremonic. So you need the flip up now. The Sony finger flip up. That can't be good. So the only hope with this thing is if the RX100 series switches over to a 16 to 35 lens, then we got an ultimate vlogging machine. Or if the Sony releases their A6700 with amazingly improved IBIS and a flipper up, we could handle that. Or if Canon 
What a joke. I couldn't even lie if I tried that Cannon's going to come out with something that isn't crippled, the likes of which a Special Olympic gold medalist would desire and be jealous of. I took it too far. But if the mic is good right now, I'll keep this mic in hopes that in seven years or so, the perfect camera will be released. And then we got it. We need the flip up screen. Maybe the flip down. No, that wouldn't work. Edit that part out. Now we're back on the Rode Video Micro. I bought these little furry things extra. Links will be down below, of course, for your purchasing pleasure. But yeah, I'm impressed with how small it is. Will it sound good? That is the question. If it's good enough, then we're happy. We just need a camera to use it on. And this is bullshit. This is bullshit. I'm tethered with a cord to focus. Just to focus. I don't even know what Panasonic G85 autofocus would do. I'm afraid to even try it. We're not going to do it. Should we do it? All right, we're on it. We're on it. Face tracking. I see the box. Oh my god. My cord caught. That's a hazard. Is it working? Is it amazing? Oh my god, it's dual pixel autofocus. Second version of dual pixel autofocus. Improved. This is fantastic. If I could just do that. Oh god. It's the auto exposure. God damn you, Panasonic. Let me have my cake and eat it too. I feel like... It's the ultimate system. This is the ultimate system. I hate it so much, but I love it as well. Are we getting blurry backgrounds every which way we look? That's not very flattering. Panasonic autofocus kicking in, yay. So what I want to test now is the traffic noise. Which one rejects traffic noise better? We're on the road video micro right now. It's in one more car. So we're talking. Life is good. No cars in the background. You couldn't even tell one drove by. Wow, what a great mic. Let's switch over to the Ceremonic. Loser mic. Now we're on the Ceremonic. Cars will be coming momentarily. Not that you'll be able to hear them, of course. But there's one. Oh. Got a motorcycle, that's an unfair disadvantage, I'm sorry about that. The universe, the gods don't welcome my test. Which sounds better? Which rejects that traffic noise more? That is the other major problem with the Sony X3000, is it's a stereo mic, it picks up everything. If they just put a little dick on it, a little shotgun mic, and then a furry screen on that, can you imagine? Could you imagine? There's the perfect camera. You barely have to upgrade a damn thing. Oh, okay. One last traffic test. Panasonic autofocus, not even hiccuping. Wow. All right, we're done. Hey, Reggie. Does Panasonic track you? Are you in focus? How in focus are you? Do you have cat eye detect autofocus, Panasonic? I do believe it's working. Right on the eye. Wow. Oh, no, oh, stop it. What, do, what have you done? What have you done, Reggie? What have you done? Oh, no. <laughs> You're silly, Reg Cat. You're silly. Oh, hi. Just, uh, on the Panasonic autofocus. I'll just figure, how are you doing? Good? It's not working, is it? <laughs> What's confusing you? There we are. This is a nightmare. So, basically what we've done, we got the Rode Video Micro and the Ceremonic right up here. And we're gonna do a little comparison. So this is the Rode Video Micro. I've edited the equalization like I always do. Same old stuff. Now we switch it over to the Ceremonic. Is there a difference? Is it worse? If 
From what I've seen so far, this ceremonic's a piece of shit. It's the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. It's tinny. It's much quieter. It picks up so much more background noise. It's like the worst thing you could ever do. But Panasonic's autofocus is fantastic. It just never loses me. It, it prefers the bright background. See? It's not, it, you think it lost me there? It's not. It didn't. It's just waiting. It's gonna get me. It's doing it right now. It's working on it. It knows what to do. There. See? That what? Ten minutes tops. Then it gets you. It locks right on you. So, Panasonic. Best camera system available. This mic sucks. I hate it. How dare you all recommend this piece of shit. Y'all were allowed to get this one. It flips back and forth. Yeah, it sounds like a rat. It sounds like a rat squealing the whole time. Rat mic one. That's what they should have called it. Ceremonic rat mic one. Squeaky ass. So, this autofocus just blows me away. So I'm gonna leave, but this mic's a shit ball. Don't buy it. Does nothing. Even if you could turn it around, it's so much louder than what it was forward. You can't use it. If you're editing audio, you gotta stop your clip. Or it's like you got this loud ass volume with mixed with tiny volumes. So just that autofocus. Wow. Wow. We're done. Thank you for buying it. Just subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one. That's fantastic. How come everybody doesn't use Panasonic Auto? Oh, that's why. Oh, God. And the secret is you just blacken it like that with a high quality ND filter. Wow. So there we go. There, it's perfect. That is perfect. Oh, this is good. That looks good. The cross pattern, it's, it's a new art thing. I love it, personally. Where am I not in that pattern? Up here? Or down here? Is this good content? I'll leave.